Is it possible to duplicate online marketing within your network marketing team? That is the question that I get very often. And if you know anything about me, I build about 99% of my network marketing business online. So how do I get this duplicating within my team? And when I have a new teammate get started with me, what are the getting started steps that I give them to duplicate to get them a success story built as fast as possible? That is exactly what we're talking about in today's episode. So stay tuned. My name is Tanya Liza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new training episode and free resource for you and your business each and every week. So when I got started in my network marketing business back in 2009, I was brand new to this new concept of building a business. Heck, I hadn't even built a business yet. And what I did when I got started was I did everything that my upline leadership taught me to do or asked me to do because they were making a ridiculous amount of money and I wanted to follow that success. So when I first got started, when they told me to build a list of everybody that I knew and present to them in the way that our team presented, I actually followed suit. I did what they told me to do because I am smart enough to know that success leaves clues. And if you follow the right leader, you can create the same results, if not better for you in your business. Now, after about a year of building that way, I obviously ran out of people to talk to. I ran out of people to talk to, and that's actually what brought me to the internet to learn how to use online marketing and social media marketing to help me build my business. And it wasn't like it is today. It was kind of taboo back in 2010 when I actually started using social media. And so my uplines just didn't get it. My leadership didn't get it. It wasn't as it is today. But I saw other people creating success online and I was like, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. So I went online to start learning some online marketing for my business, not out of weakness, but out of the pure fact that I was busy and I didn't have a lot of time to go out and hit the streets prospecting like I was told to do. And I also worked a full-time job at the time, so I didn't, I didn't really even have the time to go out prospecting. And I really wanted to position myself as a credible person of value to attract people to me and have them ask me about my product, service, or business. So this is where attraction marketing kind of started for me back in 2010. So what do I do to actually help a new teammate when they get started with me? Because obviously if you're building online, everybody kind of wants to come in and build the way that they came in. So if they came in through a social media, post that you did or something like that, they're going to want to do the same thing within their business. And so the biggest thing that I have learned with creating a network marketing team that actually duplicates, even though I'm online and mark and, and doing online marketing for my business is to get them started the same way that I got started with creating a check fast in my business. And so, yes, you can um, do two different things. You can do passive prospecting and then you can do active prospecting. Now, passive prospecting is when you get a lot of your automation, your videos, your posts, your social media sales funnel working for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week online. Even while you're sleeping, you're generating prospects that are coming to you and asking for more information to you. That's a passive prospecting strategy. Now that does take a little bit of time to set up and get churning like it's supposed to. So while my people are just getting started, I tell them to go through the same steps that I got started with in my network marketing business where you know, you want to talk to the people that are sitting right in front of you that you have that you can actually present to. So you want to do that first and you want to actually get that knocked out as fast as possible while you're building on your passive marketing strategy and, and using your social media to actually bring you prospects and leads that maybe you don't know yet. So even though I build online, I definitely encourage my people to get started exactly the same way that I got started. And it really depends on how badly you and your people want to create that success story fast. And I talk about this all the time is creating that success story that you can sell, that you can use 
lose when you go out in the marketplace and you present, creating that as fast as possible because that is a powerful story that will help you in your processes going forward. And that can be easily accomplished with the people that are right in front of you, right there that you should be actually talking to about your products, about your services, and about your business. So since we're talking about in this episode how to get a new rep started, if you're building using online social media marketing strategies, what do you get what do you get them to do first, okay? Now, this has evolved over many years um, of being in network marketing. What I do today with a new rep to get them started wasn't necessarily the same processes as when I was building three years ago or even two years ago. This process is very refined as times change, as social media gets more prevalent. And so what I thought I would give you in today's episode, because in every episode I like to equip you with a free resource that you can use in your business to create success with fast. Since we're talking about how I personally get a new rep started, Um, especially if I'm building online, I put together a checklist for you that you can basically download and you can make your own if you want it, but it's actually my checklist that I give my new reps when they start with me. I actually give them a list of steps to do to get started in their business with me as fast as possible with a check and create that success story fast. So if you wanna know what that checklist looks like and you wanna model it and make it your own, by the way, you should have a checklist that you give your new reps when they get started with you so they know what to do next, you can pick up my checklist. I put it together for you over on my blog at tanyaliza.com forward slash 96 download, the number 96 download, and pick that up, use it in your team, modify it, make it your own, but you can see the steps that I actually share with my brand new reps when they get started in working with me in what I encourage them and walk them through doing to get that success story built up fast. So here's a little bit of what I do just so that you can understand how I actually get my new people started even though I build online. So number one, I put them through the corporate training that we have. We're blessed in our network marketing company to have really good training that comes from the top down in corporate. So they've got their own getting started checklist. And so we actually plug them into that training first because it's incredible training. Number two, I'm going to get them their first check. I'm going to help them get their first check in their hands, do their first little bonus incentive. So within 24 to 48 hours, I'm working with them to get a couple of exposures done the way that our team does the exposures and I help them with those conversations to help them get their first customers or new teammates because if you can work with your people to get them a check as fast as possible they are going to stick with you for life they are going to be more motivated and excited to go out this go out there and share what it is that they're doing with more of their people if they can get that tangible success story in their hands fast and what better way to do that than a check Number three, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to help them with options and I'm gonna let them know, here's how to get in front of new people that maybe don't know you with your products, with your services. And there's some things in our team that we do which are kind of unique. We'll show people how to do a Facebook post launch. We'll we'll show people how to do a Facebook live launch. And these are are things that are really helpful as options for your team to let them know like, hey, once you're done talking to the people that you know, um, here's how to get out there and get in front of people that don't know you exist so you can get exposure for your products, your services, and your business and your brand. I get them plugged into the team calls as well. Most network marketing teams have a weekly or semi-weekly team training call or team Zooms or or webinars or whatever it is. You want to get them plugged in as fast as possible. Now, this also includes me telling them when the next company event is going on. We are all about events. I love events. I think that events build the culture like nothing else. It really paints that big picture for a new rep getting started with you that this is bigger than just the two of you. And so you want to get them plugged in as best as you can immediately after they get started. And I also make sure that I manage their expectations. Now, I think this is something that needs to be driven home even more so in network marketing with more leaders that are out there. Managing expectations is gonna be huge if you want people to stick around with you for the long term. So what do I mean by that? Well, if they tell you that they want to create you know, $5,000 a month income and they only have two hours a week to put in it, if you tell them that that's possible and they can do it, 
and that's not realistic, then you're gonna be mismanaging their expectations. So be a good leader to your person, your people, and make sure that you manage their expectations. Let them really know what it's going to take to get them to the goals that you know that they want. First of all, you gotta ask them what their goals are, know what they are, and then help them to manage their expectations so that they know when to expect those goals to, to come into fruition. Because the worst thing that you want is your new teammates to feel like they haven't done um, they, they haven't they haven't been successful or they've been a failure if they haven't been able to get to their goal in the time that they had even though they were putting in the time and in the work so it's really important you know remember this is a business it's going to take some work but if you're working with the right people with the right system with the right you know attitude you can definitely make it work. So be a good leader to your team and inside of that, getting helping them to get started, manage their expectations properly. This is going to help you build a solid team that lasts for a very, very, very long time. So I think the biggest thing is that you understand that even though you're building online and people are like, I just wanna get my stuff online and I don't really wanna ever talk to my friends and family. Even though you really can build a business and you can build an incredible income, never talking to your friends and family. Yes, you can do it, it's possible. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer. So I would suggest, you know, get it over with, get some customer success stories, get some exposures in there with the people sitting in front of you that do know you, right? And I've got an incredible episode on my blog. I'll leave uh, the link in the resource section or in the show notes below this video where you can actually go and look at a really cool blog post episode that I did that said, can you really build a successful network marketing team without ever talking to your friends and family? So I give you my opinion and my strategy if, uh, if that's you and you're thinking, you know, is it possible? Or maybe you have teammates are thinking that it's possible. Um, I, I created a, an episode with, for you that I think that you'll really like, and it's kind of funny, so I think you'll really like it. So I think the most important thing is to know that even though I built online, even though that maybe you built online, um, there is people that are sitting right in front of you that you should be exposing to your business, your products, and your services. And I encourage all of my people to, yes, move beyond those people and get in front of the people that you know don't know you yet and will have an interest in your product, service, or business. But there's people sitting right in front of you that you can create a success story with. So use that opportunity. Now to help you with that, I've created a success checklist on how to get your new teammate started it properly and successfully. And if you wanna pick that up, you can go and grab it on my blog at tanyaliza.com forward slash 96 download. That'll take you to the blog post. On the blog post, you'll see this video and then right below this video, there's a big yellow button bam, and if you click the yellow button, it will uh, get you that checklist. And you can download it and make it your own. You know, I feel free to modify it, whatever steps that you have that you like to do already in, in your team or your team environment. But those are the foundational concepts that I go over when I enroll a new teammate that are, I believe, very, very important to help them succeed online and offline in network marketing. And the, the steps that I still put all of my new people through. And as a leader inside network marketing, it's really, really important to give your team members options on how they want to build their business. Some people are going to want to build their business all offline, and it's important to teach them the strategies on how to do that. And then some people are going to want to build online using social media like I wanted to build. And so if you're a leader in network marketing and you give your team options, you are one of the most, you could be one of the most sought after leaders in network marketing because you have options that you give your team that are going to meet the needs of everybody. So don't limit those options for your team. Get out there, educate yourself on how to do offline and online marketing and teach that to your team so that they feel with you as a leader that you have their best interests at heart and you're not afraid to give them options on how to build their business and you can guide them. That is so utterly important. Question of the week, what are your top five getting started steps that you put your new teammates through in your network marketing team? If you care to share, I would love to know about them in the comment section below. Let me know what is working for you and your team. I wanna know about it, share below. Did you get value out of today's episode? I truly hope that you did. It's really important to get your new people started off right. 
so important. Now, if you got value and you think this video might help somebody that you know, make sure to like it, make sure to share it via one of the links above or below or around this video, and I'll see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.